afternoon, everybody. It's Thursday. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. I'm really excited to be here. Hopefully you are too. Um, if you are, even if you're not, if you are, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means so much to me and to the channel to see that um, we are doing what you really like. So uh, definitely hit that like and subscribe. I'm super excited about today because um, I have a bottle here. It's got some dust on it, but I have a bottle here that is very special to me, and this is from the English Distillery. Uh, the English Distillery is was the first um, legal English uh, distillery since, I don't know, pre-English Prohibition time. I mean, like, we're talking a long time ago. And um, I also like... Uh, the English used to be called St. George's Distillery, um, named after King George, I believe. St. George, St. George, not King George. Why did I say that? St. George. But the English uh, is also one of those few uh, distilleries that have a connection to the royalty. They have, I saw Prince Charles, now King Charles, uh, personal barrel there. Um, they did a uh, a recent uh, um, inauguration bottle, which I don't think I'm going to be able to get, but I should be there in just a few short days because I'm headed back to the UK and we have plans to visit them because they are spectacular. They're super nice. We get almost one-on-one -on -one treatment when we go there, um, we get tours and all sorts of really um, great interaction with them. So if you're ever in uh, England, it's up in the north uh, eastern section of uh, Suffolk near Thetford Forest. Um, so just probably about two hours outside of uh, London, and it is well worth going. Um, but this is something my wife picked up for me. It is their second batch of their small, or their second edition of their small batch series, and I do have the first edition. But this is a small batch single malt whiskey that is heavily smoked and aged in a sherry butt. And I have yet to open this. It is uh, 65 ppm. That's a pretty good smoke. I think that's probably maybe 20 ppm over Ardbeg and Lafroy. Um, I might have to look that up. But um, there was only 2,132 bottles uh, that were uh, bottled. And this was bottled in January of 23, the last time my wife was there. And the percent on this, I'm looking for the percent. I might have to go to my notes in my phone because they don't actually put the percentages all the time on here. Oh, wait. It is... 46, 46% or uh, 92, that is, no, nine, yeah, 92, that is in the UK uh, percentage, which, if you know anything about um, European percentage versus, or European proofage versus American proofage, there's a slight difference, don't really know why, but here in America, we just double the uh, percent to proof, but that's about 92 proof. Um, the cost of this, you know, if you didn't get one of the initial bottles, the cost is going to be outrageous, but um, the cost is about $90. $90, US dollars, 70 pounds. And I don't know how many they have left. They, um, they don't ship to anywhere outside of the UK as far as I know, uh, but you can uh, purchase it in the UK. <clears throat> at various locations, but the best place to go is the distillery because it's just a really cool distillery. All right. Making a mess. Oh, also, I think the their bottles are really cool. Super cool. All right, so cost-wise, it's going to be one... Oh, wow. And it's not filtered either because there's some floaters in there. And that is, I can see the lipids. To me, that's a great sign of a really good single malt is when you can see some of that um, uh, lipids and fats in there. I love non-filtered whiskeys. Uh, they still have a way of collecting a lot of that so you don't see it. 
but because most people don't like to see that um, I actually don't am not bothered about that and there's several US whiskeys that are also that way very very um, almost cloudy um, because it's non-filtered in America we do a lot of chilled chill filtered or um, I guess it's a carbon filter I don't know Woo! that is smoky oh but it's a nice smoky All right, so we're getting a lot of that um, smoke from Pete, but I'm also getting some sweetness, kind of like a cherry or berry sweetness to it, a little fruit, and it was in a sherry butt. Oh, oh, by the way, it's aged 11 years with the last year being in a uh, sherry butt. <clears throat> getting some stone fruit, possibly an apricot or... I was going to say pear, but I think it's more apricot. Florals. Some malt, obviously. Wow, that is spectacular. That's... Sorry, folks, that's a five on the aroma. This is amazing. Wow. If I go back and they have more of this, I'm going to have to get one. Because I want to drink all of this. Absolutely amazing. Well, I just did the Glen Deveron, which I said was the 20 year, which is probably the best whiskey, the best uh, scotch whiskey I've ever had. Ooh, this is going to be a close if the flavor is anything like the aroma. Mmm. Not too spicy. A little bit of nuttiness to it with that smoke. Um some sweetness from the sherry and um, whatever that berry is going on. It's kind of not a blueberry. I'm not a berry person, so I can't really discern this. So I don't know, but it is very berry. I'm thinking like a raspberry or some sort of red berry. A little bit of that apricot. Plenty of smoke, but not overpowering. It's not giving me that um, kind of uh, ashtray mouth at all. It's very um, pleasant. It's got that right amount of sweetness from that sherry butt. I almost think my wife would like this, and she does not care for Isla's. But I think she may actually enjoy this. All right, as far as the Islas go, this is on par with my Octomore. Not as smoky, but just as complex. And this is absolutely fabulous. Fantastic. Wow. And the proof, is, it's just right. Because the higher the proof you get, like with my Scotch Malt Whiskey bottles, which are all, you know, cast strength, I feel like at 120, 130, even in the high teens, you lose some of that flavor because of the spicy heatness of the alcohol. This is the right balance. This is, oh, spectacular. I'm gonna say this is, because of price, it's, it's a one on cost, but this is a straight five. This is a five barrel whiskey, and this is probably the first five barrel whiskey. I probably said that recently, didn't I? Um, a, just an amazing whiskey, oh. Oh, I can't wait to finish this bottle. But I got to sit down. It's already 1 o'clock, and this video comes out at 3. I need to get it going. Mmm. Spectacular. Let me know what you think. Again, if you are in the UK, anywhere in the UK, or you're flying through and you have a few hours... You probably need about three hours to get, no, you probably need about six hours. So you have a six hour layover. You need to get your uh, butt up to St. George's Distillery, which is the English Distillery. They still have both names on there, but it's the English. Uh, it is spectacular. If you find these in the grocery store, or probably not the grocery stores, but the liquor stores, um, definitely pick them up. I like all of them. There's a couple that are just average decent but I still like them but most of them are really good and I just 
th this is amazing, so I can't wait to go back. And I promised myself when we go back next week or in two weeks that I would not buy another bottle. It's going to be very hard to do. Because I have like eight or nine different variations. This is spectacular. But again, this is my opinion. What's your opinion? Let me know if you've ever had them. And if you've had this specific one, this is the um, second uh, small batch series. Let me know. Leave those comments down below. Tell me what your favorite scotch is, especially your favorite peated scotch is. Uh, for me, it's always been Octomore. This is really good, <laughs> really good. Um, but let us know. Make sure you do check out Instagram, Facebook, Threads, and TikTok. And remember to hit that like and subscribe. It means so much to us. All right, guys. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow for um, a cocktail. Cody hasn't been up this week, so I have no idea what cocktail we're doing tomorrow. I did give him the challenge to use that um, whiskey from Monday which was um, the Honey Shine from Hawaii. So let's see if he's come up with anything. But yeah, until tomorrow, remember there's no bad whiskey, there's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is spectacularly great whiskey. Cheers. Mm -hmm.